was browsing some website and I realized that at the bottom right of the corner there is this Facebook Messenger chat icon. When I clicked into that chat icon, I realized that I will be able to send inquiries through Facebook Messenger. How do I do that? Hey guys, this is Evan from PMC. In this video, I'll be sharing with you how you will be able to install a Facebook Messenger on your WordPress website so that your customer will be able to reach out to you much more conveniently. demo website and if you can see over right here right when the moment that I scroll down of my page you will be able to see that hey there's actually a Facebook messenger that is actually hanging on the bottom right of my website so be it that I'm actually on my home page you know or um, I'm in my sub pages my contact us page or even like um, you know my blog articles and things like that right you will be able to see that you know there will be a you know a floating icon that will be hanging there on the right hand side okay so this is the uh, facebook messenger live chat icon that i would like to share with you in this video so what will happen is that sometimes you will be able to um, you know visit some other people website and you'll be able to see um, you know this kind of uh, live chat icon um, being offered by websites right so in the market itself the most common one you'll be able to see a few types of live chat uh, Facebook messenger def definitely that's one um, another one that we are looking at over right here it will be something similar to uh, my website over right here um, for example when the moment that you're browsing you will be able to see that's on the right hand side that's also another live chat um, settings right here yeah but currently it's actually offline Okay, the reason behind is that uh, this kind of live chat, you can actually set the operating hours, be it you want to do it on during working hours, uh, 9 to 5 p.m., you know, 9 to 6 p.m., so you decide yourself, yeah? So already during that particular period of time, um, you will be able to have a direct, uh, initiate the direct live chat, or else right after, um, if in case that it's actually fall outside of the operating hours, um, it will actually show offline. And if you still would like to send, you know, message to the admin or to the website owners, then this is what you can do. It will actually show as a contact form, okay? Right after you hit on the send, it will actually drop as an email directly to the admin of the website itself, yeah? So this is how it goes. So why is currently offline reason behind is very simple because <laughs> currently i'm recording my my uh, video at night so uh, during midnight yeah so um my team is already sleeping i believe and that's why there's no one is actually handling the live chat so the good thing about um the uh, website live chat is that like i mentioned you will be able to actually um set the operating hours so right out uh right outside the operating hours right you can't initiate the live chat whereas as compared to facebook messenger this button over right here there's no operating hours per se so uh, whenever the user is on your website they can actually send directly the message to you so um if you didn't respond the message immediately you will actually affect your facebook response time okay so if you take you know longer than 24 hours or 48 hours then only your response to your customers in your facebook rating it will actually indicates that um, your response time is actually very slow so um it doesn't look that good on your profile itself so that's the only small things that you need to take notes yeah and um as compared to this the website live chats over right here you can only the users can only chat with you or chat with the website admin only when the moment they, they are on the website when they leave the website um it's no longer you know they are no longer able to chat any anymore okay but for facebook you can actually chat it anytime because right after you leave this website you actually initiated a facebook message yeah so right after that you can actually hop to your mobile phone take up your mobile uh, messenger you know then you can send the message from there as well so um it's quite convenient for this facebook messenger button yeah now the third types of the um live chat that you you might able to came across it will be um something like this yeah um a whatsapp icon okay a whatsapp live chat so for this whatsapp live chat if you are browsing on desktop or laptop yeah um the the the, the way that's how it works is that right after you click on this icon it will actually prompt your web dot whatsapp okay so the uh, website versions of your whatsapp 
So then only after that you can actually uh, send the message uh, via the you know the desktop version. Okay. If you're on mobile, that's much more easier. When you're on mobile and you're browsing through these websites, right? And when you hit on this WhatsApp icon, you can actually initiate the chat directly to the WhatsApp number. Okay, so this is also very, very convenient for those of you that would like to have, um, you know, the live chat that go under the uh, WhatsApp that you can consider on this method itself. The WhatsApp, you can only set uh, one number at a time. Okay, so you can only set one number at a time. So if you're currently having like a four or five sales team, then this might not be applied. Okay, uh, but for this one, yes, you can. So if it says that you have like uh, five agents uh, you know five salespersons that handling the live chat then this is very good because you can actually pass on the the you know the chat to another salesperson to handle yeah so now in this video i'm going i'm not going to share with you uh, the whatsapp and the, the websites yeah i'm going to just share with you the facebook messenger okay so this is the focus of this video i'll be sharing with you how you can actually install the facebook messenger now for those of you if you are interested in you know the website live chat or even the whatsapp you can actually check out my other video yeah i will be covering in other video itself now let's hop into the back end of your website yeah if you are building your websites through a WordPress, okay, so this is how it goes. If you were to um, add on some function like this, you can actually do it via installing a plugin, okay, a plugin itself. So this is actually a Facebook Messenger plugin, yeah. So in the market, we are looking at there are some free plugins and there are also some uh, paid plugins as well, yeah. So the one that I'll be sharing with you is actually a free plugin, yeah. So now. Um, you need to make sure that you actually log into your um, your WordPress dashboard. Okay, you need to make sure that you log into your WordPress uh, dashboard. Then right after that, you'll be able to see something called a plugin. Yeah, and we're going to go under the add new. So we are going to add a new feature to our website. Okay, so inside over right here, you can see that uh, on, on here, there's actually a search bar, right? So you can actually search the plugin that you want. Yeah, so the one that I would like to recommend to you is called Messenger Customer Chat. Okay, Messenger Customer Chat. Now, when the moment that right after you search, there will be a list of listings coming up. Okay, so you need to decide which one is the correct one that, you know, like uh, um, the features that you want before you, 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 you go ahead and install and things like that. Yeah, you can definitely uh, click on the more details, you know, to read more. Um, to understand more, to see some, you know, screenshot, whether or not it's something that is uh, what you want and things like that, yeah? Okay, um, usually this is what I do, yeah? The one that I'm going to recommend you to you, definitely this is the one, Messenger Customer Chat, okay? Um, when the moment that you are deciding which plugin to install, few things that you might want to take notes, okay? Um, myself, I'll be looking at developer, okay by who whether or not i will be able to get some official plugin okay so this one if you, if you can see over right here is actually by facebook yep so some is actually developed by, by other developer so um usually the first thing that i will double check okay if i can get official definitely i will go with the official plugin okay second thing i will be checking it will be the active installation okay um in terms of like if there's more users is using this plugin Definitely, it will give, um, you know, a boost of a trust here. Uh, many have been using it. It means that, you know, people are also um, happy with the functions, you know, and it actually also able to help some other people's, right? So that's why I'll be looking at this active installation. So this is 70,000, which is quite a good number as compared to the rest that you can see over right here. Now, sometimes you will be able to see like, you know, 200 active installation or 900 at a smaller, um, active installations right so usually for this kind of like plugins uh, i would recommend you not to install because um first of all um there's not enough active installation okay as compared to the rest right it's actually a very big difference from there second it could be because of uh, this plugin is new okay so the developer might not be you know tested you know enough um, for, for periods of time and things like that. So the plugin might not be stable in a way as well. So usually I will tend to, as after comparisons, I will tend to go with the one that having a more active installation. Yep. Second things, um, 
(uh) I mean on the third things already right I would be also checking in terms of like the ratings okay so whether or not the rating is good five star four star three star whether or not that's reviews if the rating is actually one star then I will have a little bit concern as well okay last part I'll be looking at here um in terms of like when the plugins is being updated yeah, so this tells you that whether or not the developer is still active, um, whether or not the developer is actively maintaining the plugin. Um, you know, sometimes you will have like updates on Facebook, sometimes you will have updates on your WordPress. Uh, whether or not the developer is still maintaining this plugin, that's something that's um, you know, I will pay attention because this one, if you can see over here, it said that it, it just updates two weeks ago. So this developer is still definitely active. Sometimes you'll be able to see something like, for example, like this, okay? One year ago, two years ago, and things like that. So those that is too long, um, if you are having problem with this plugin, then sometimes you won't be able to communicate with the developers, and um, sometimes you know the, the the plugin will just collapse and things like that. So I tend not to go with those that is inactive in a way. Yeah. So this is good. Um, the only last part that you'll be asking me, hey Zevin, you know, I'm looking at this right, and um, you know, this is untested with the WordPress version, and this is compatible. What is the difference over right here? This for me, um, I won't really pay too much of like attention to it. To it, reason behind is that, um, for your information, WordPress they will be keep on launching a new version. So some of you guys will be using an older version of WordPress. Some of you guys will be installing the latest version. My installation is currently on the latest. Yeah. So, uh, um, uh, in a way that sometimes the developer they yet to update their plugins to be compatible to the latest version. So um, you just need to give them a little bit of the time, then they will be updating, you know, to the to the latest version already. Yeah. So this guy over right here is basically saying that the guy, um, the developer has already tested and it actually works with the latest version. So perfect because you won't see any like clash uh, or you know like uh, it's not functioning and things like that. So this is, has been tested, so it's good. But this one is not tested. It doesn't mean that it's not good. It just that you know you just need to give the developer a little bit of the time, um, and right after that they will actually uh, do the compatible as well. So uh, how do you know whether or not um, it's compatible, not compatible, or whether or not it's functional? Very easy. <laughs> you can just go ahead and click on the install. Right after the installation, you know if it doesn't work, it means that. It doesn't work. <laughs> it, it means that it's not compatible and it doesn't work, right? And then you can just go ahead and uninstall and try a new plugin. So, like I said, uh, the last one over right here, I won't really, you know, concern that much, okay? So anyhow, this one is the one that I would like to recommend to all of you guys because I have personally tested, use it on my um, other website as well. So it's quite stable and it's quite good, okay? So this is the one that I would like to recommend to you guys. So what are we going to do right here is that straight away click on the install now. Okay. So WordPress uh, plugin installation, two steps. When you found your plugins that you want, click on install now. Second step, you need to make sure that you activate the function. Okay. Install now and activate. Right after you activate, you'll be able to see that on the left navigation of right here, usually they will have one you know, a new settings coming up, okay? So before we're able to use all this plugin, we need to ensure that we actually uh, uh, do some setting from that, okay? So over right here, getting started, you just click under the setup customer chat. You will actually prompt a Facebook login messenger over right here for you to, um, yeah, so it will just authorize the application. So I will just go ahead and uh, uh, log in to my Facebook first, yeah? Okay, right after you log in to the Facebook, this is how it goes, okay? So it will actually show you to uh, ask you to select the page. This page, it will link directly to your Facebook page. So some of you guys will be handling more than one page, you know, more than one Facebook page. You have five different Facebook pages and you will need to decide which Facebook page to link to, okay? So my case, I'll be linking to my BNC Trainings uh, Facebook page, yeah? Click on continue and click on next. Over right here, you can actually choose the language that you want to set as your default language, okay? You can go with uh, Mandarin, Chinese as well. You can go with uh, Japanese, you can go with all the other different languages. Yeah? So my case, I will just use it back to my English versions. 
And over right here, you can see that uh, you can actually change this um, message right here. Okay, so the default that I have is, hello, welcome to DMC, how can I help you? So if let's say, you know, um, you can just change the message from here. Yeah, so just you can type in in Mandarin, you can type in in whatever language that you want. Hello, welcome, you know, to DMC. How can I help you? Save. Yeah, then you just click on next. And this is basically pretty much how the default, uh, it will just show you, uh, you know, the, the preview over right here, yeah? And you can actually change the color, okay? So the color of this icon over right here, so if you click on this, you can actually do custom um, color code, or you can just select the, you know, the color from here. So if you can see, when I select the color, the icon will change, and the message over right here will change, yeah? But personally, this is what I'm going to recommend to you, because um, this is Facebook Messenger. So if you are using a yellow or red color, when the moment that is displayed, the icon is displayed on your website, it might not be able to, um, you know, relate to the user that much that this is actually a Facebook Messenger. Whereas if I'm using this, you know, Facebook color, the blue color itself, of uh, in 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 the user mind, Facebook pretty much you can relate is a blue color icon, Facebook logo everything is in blue so when you are using this icon i'll recommend you to stick with blue color because it gives a user a much more indication that straightforward one glance when i peep i would be able to know this is actually a facebook messenger same things goes to whatsapp right what's whatsapp in default the colors that you can relate directly is uh, green color right so if suddenly you see an icon in red color then you will need to like take at least, you know, at least a five second, <laughs> a five second to, uh, what is that? <laughs> then only you click on it, oh, it's actually a WhatsApp, but straightforward, so when the moment that you see blue, it's actually a Facebook Messenger, you see green, it's actually a WhatsApp, okay? So I recommend you to stick with the blue color, click on finish, click on done, that's it, very, very fast, okay? So this is the demo website that I'm going to share with you. Before I have the installation, if you can see on the right hand side, it's actually empty, okay? So I don't have the uh, messenger over right there. But right after I activate my customer chat right there, I did all the settings that I have. Over right here, I was just going to do a very quick refresh and you can see from here, that's it. The icon will just appear. Very, very fast uh, installation that you can have and very, very easy as well. So by default, it will actually show you a messenger chat like this. So when you click in, you know, it will show you, hello, welcome to DMC, how can I help you? Right after that, when you are ready and you want to start to chat with the, you know, I mean, when your customer is ready to chat with you, they will just come here, click on their name, okay? So then they can actually start to have the chat with you, yeah? So this is, it will link directly to your Facebook page. So I can just type, hello, how are you? <laughs> but my Facebook chat is actually using another robot, okay? Another robot chat, yeah? So, um, this is how it goes. So tomorrow, my admin will be looking at, you know, why Zevin is actually sending message at midnight <laughs> and kachowing the Facebook Messenger because the Facebook Messenger is actually handling by my other colleague, okay? So anyway, so this is actually how it goes, okay? Very fast, very easy. And this is how you're going to install your uh, Facebook Messenger uh, plugins from that, yeah? So like I mentioned, for those of you, if you are interested in, um, you know, the website, live chat or even the, uh, what we call that, the WhatsApp chat over right here, um, I'll be sharing with you in my other video as well. So I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching our video. If you like our video, remember to click the like and share. And if you have yet to subscribe to our YouTube channel, remember to click on the subscribe button and most importantly, hit on the bell icon. So you'll be able to get a notification when we launch our new video. See you in the next video.